Don't you wish you could know how to lower your chances of having a heart attack, especially when you hear about someone having one or dying from it? Or when watching those movies and no one around seems to know what to do and the person having the heart attack actually dies? Let's go on a journey with you today so that you can reduce your risk of having a heart attack with us, the Medical Information Channel. You need to stop taking that alcohol. You need to stop taking it completely. Not reduce it, mind you, stop it. Also, you need to stop smoking and you need to stop exposing yourself to secondhand smoke because it will do you no good hanging around people that are smoking with you inhaling all that mess into your lungs. You also need to reduce the stress in your life by carrying out some relaxation activities. Take some time out by doing some meditation and yoga, even just sitting down with some breathing exercises, some deep breathing exercises. Praying will do a lot of good for you. Exercise daily. Some people might say, oh, can I exercise about, let's say, thrice in a week, four times in a week? Well, yes, but you can do better than that. You can actually exercise daily for 30 minutes and that will reduce your risk of having a heart attack greatly. If you are overweight, please try and lose that weight. Monitor your weight with your weighing scale and make sure that you don't become obese. Please, if you're diabetic, manage your blood sugar and for go for regular follow-up with your physician and your endocrinologist. All right, what's next? You need to control your high blood cholesterol and your high blood pressure by ensuring that it is necessary, by making necessary changes to your diet, as eating the recommended amount of salt in a day, and also taking your medication. Also, eat a healthy and balanced diet full of vitamins and minerals. These are contained in fruits and vegetables, especially fresh fruits and vegetables. So make your heart health a priority. You only live once. Here is to you. And subscribe to the Medical Information Channel. Leave your comments below. And I will see you next time.